This video is a tutorial on domain restrictions and piecewise functions. So I'm going to show you a few examples of domain restrictions and then one example of a piecewise function that you can grab. So let's start off with the linear function. Let's say y equals x plus 3. Nice linear function going through 3 as its y-intercept here. Let's say I'd like to restrict the domain just so that x is less than 2. The way we restrict domains on the Desmos calculator is by using braces. So I'm going to put a brace right after the function there. I'm going to tell it x is less than 2. And notice what happened here. Instead of drawing the whole line across the whole domain here, it's only done those points such that x is less than 2. One small thing here, though, x is less than 2 means in algebra class we're supposed to have an open circle here. Desmos right now does not have the functionality of putting the open circle there on its own, but there is a nice little workaround you can use. What I'm going to do here in the next line is I'm going to type in that point. That point is 2, 5. And you see it put a little point here at the end of the line here, at the line segment, rather. And I can make it purple as well. If I just hold this hold this down, I have choice of, choice of colors here. I'm going to make it purple like the line was. And notice I have two options of style here. I have the closed circle option and the open circle option. So I have that, and I have a nice open circle here that reflects the fact that we are x is less than 2. Okay. Let's look at another example this time. Let's take a look at a circle. Let's do x squared uh, plus y squared uh, equals 25. So I'll have a circle whose radius is 5. Uh, let's hide these guys, get them out of the way. Okay. Let me show you a few examples of domain and range restrictions here. Let's say I wanted to restrict a domain just so that x is less than 1. Notice the part of the circle that's showing are just those places where x is less than 1. I can also do this with y's. Instead of x is less than 1, maybe y is less than 1. And I get the bottom half of the circle. I could do a range restriction and a domain restriction. Y is less than 1 and X is greater than 3. And I just that, get that little slice of the circle. So you can do domain and range restrictions, putting them both into braces. One last little thing that I think is kind of neat. Let's go back to my circle here. Here's my whole circle. I could also restrict it via function. Let's say I only wanted to see the part of the circle where Y is greater than X plus 1. So here's the line y equals x plus 1, this imaginary line. Let's draw that. You can see it, y equals x plus 1. It's only graphing the part of the circle that is above that line because that is the restriction I placed upon it. So those are domain restrictions. You can restrict domains, ranges, braces are the way to do it. Okay. Let's take a look at a piecewise function now. Here's an example of a piecewise function I'd like to graph. So I have two linear functions. It looks like 5 is going to be where all the action is at. I'm going to show you how to do this on the Desmos calculator. The syntax here is a little bit different. So we're going to start off with f of x. And we're going to use braces this time, equals braces. And first of all, we're going to start with x is less than 5. And here you need a colon. x is less than 5 colon 2x plus 5. And this one's actually going off the screen a little bit, so I have to scroll up a little bit here. But notice it's been chopped off at 5, and it's graphing the line only up to 5. Here's the way I get the second half of it type a comma after that, and now I'm going to tell it where x is greater than 5, that I would like it to do uh, negative x plus 1, which I believe, oh, what a negative x plus 2, negative x plus 2, okay, and that shows up down there, let me zoom out of this a little bit, uh, let me see, oh, there we go, now we can see both pieces up there, okay. so here is the syntax again, so Notice what I did here. I have the first half separated by a colon, a comma in between, and then the second half of the function. And again, I need to decide where to put the open circle and the closed circle. Let's put both points in. I have a point up there at 5, 15, and I also have a point down at 5, uh, negative 2, um, negative 3 probably. There it is. Okay. And which one of these is supposed to be the open circle and the closed circle? Well, let's go back to my function. It is the top one that's supposed to get the open circle. So we go back to Desmos. This is the one that I would like to make blue and an open circle. And it's all set to go. I'll just make them all blue. Here's blue. So there's our quick introduction to domain restrictions and piecewise functions. Check out more in the blog if you like. And look up some of the Desmos filing cabinet for some of my classroom examples.